Hi everybody, Lori here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of the December release blog hop with Simon Says Stamp. If you can see here, I've been in a thick of December goodness and I have a fun project to share with you. I love a good floral layering die set. I'm gonna be featuring the Aurora Blooms dies and Kathy Zilski Little Banners on this number here. I mean, you could easily customize these floral blooms and make it Christmassy. Mine's not necessarily Christmassy, but it sure is happy. So let's dive right in. Okay, so here we are with the beautiful Aurora Blooms die set. It's a large die set. There's a ton of dies in it. When I first saw it, I was not really that impressed, but it's a dark horse, let me tell you, because when you start working with it and you start pulling colors of blooms and layering, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. That's where it is, but it's a lot of dies, and the first thing you need to do is snip those suckers apart. And and also, don't leave any of those spiky things hanging out. You know, you get lazy and you don't wanna cut off the spiky thing, and then you poke yourself, and you just, it chaps your khakis to the high heaven. So, learn from my mistake. Cut off the little snippy pokies. Okay, so here's all the dies. There's a lot of them. And if you have trouble thinking, how do I layer these? Go onto the Simon Says Stamp website, take a look at the imagery. That's how I got my kickstart. But really at the end of the day, there are no rules. You can layer, you can mix and match, you can do colors, whatever toots your flute. Also side note, Merry Christmas to Laura. I recently bought myself a Christmas present and it is this new die cutting machine, the Anna Griffin, Empress, Empress, how do you say it? Empress or Empress? Not sure how you uh, enunciate that, but I've only used it like two times so far. It just came yesterday and I'm excited. Look, I love this magnetic mat. It holds all the dies in place. You can see this is a great project to use all those scraps of solid color cardstock that you got kicking around. And so look at, I didn't even count how many I die cut at once, but I die cut the wazoo, about half of the Aurora die set. And I'm using a mixture of Concord 9th, a uh, little Simus's stamp cardstock. There might be a little Hero Arts in there. Who knows what's in that stash? But I love using all these different colors. Uh, about the die cutting machine, I think I've I've had, I started out when I first started stamping, I got the Sizzix Big Shot. And then I moved on to the Spellbinders. Then I got the Gemini Junior. And then now here we are with the Anna Griffin. I've tried them all, I've tried them all. But here's the thing, I die cut I would say a lot more than the average crafter, like a lot. Uh, you know, when I'm doing reveals for companies or making videos or several videos a month, I die cut the heck and my plates get so warped and I was buying replacement plates. I was trying the whole repair them too, you know, pouring boil boiling water on the plates, letting them sit, trying to get them to flatten out. And I never really had much success. Uh, my Gemini Junior one, I don't know if it was faulty on my end, but my Gemini Junior was too tight and too loud. So that one got on my nerves. Uh, the Spellbinders, I would say I used more than anything. And I still use that one. I have it handy, but I just got this one here. I'll let you know. It's probably only the third time I've used it in this video. But so far, I really love that magnetic mat. I haven't cut into it yet. Let's hope I don't. Uh, so it is a little reverse. You you die cut up um, so far. I'm getting used to it. Now, another thing I would say, highly recommend these two tools by Simon the Stamp, the place and pierce and the place and score wand. You don't think you need them, but then when you have them, you don't know how you ever lived without them. That's where I'm at with the this one here. I've replaced the tip on it. I got a pink tip on it, had one in the drawer because that little wax tip can wear out or it can break. So make sure you got replacement tips for your embellishment wand. Now this little bloom here, I don't know what she's called, but you gotta like glue the blooms, tuck them into the stem, if that makes sense. Hopefully by watching me, you can understand what I'm doing because when I try to explain it, I feel like I'm not very clear. But you know what, it's December. And I don't know if you get a jumbly hot mess in December in the brain, but I do. I've talked about this before. I got five kids. Granted, most of them are grown now, but three of the five have their birthdays in December. And it's just overload for mama's brain. Overload. And I, 
I wish I was better at it, but I'm not good at um, juggling all the things of trying to find, like it stresses me out trying to find the right gift. Is anybody else like that? I don't like that part of gift giving. Now, wrapping, I could do that. All. Listen, my Pinterest board has about 5 million <laughs> pins on ideas for wrapping. That lights my fire bows and twine and embellishment and gifts and oh but finding the gift forget about it i need like a, i need to hire a professional gift buyer okay while well, i was blabbing away i glued all the blooms together but now i'm pulling out another new product from the december release the woven embossing folder i love how this looks kind of a basket woven look pulling out my spellbinders die cutting machine i'm going to show you what sandwich i use i do the base plate then your embossing folder, and then I use two metal shims. And this is what works for me. Now, I, I don't even know if you can or how to emboss with embossing folders with that Anna Griffith machine. Hopefully it works. I've never tried it. I have no idea. But with the spell binders, this sandwich works for me. You, it can't be too tight and it can't be too loose. So you got to fiddle around. Uh, trial and error until you find the right sandwich. Okay, I got a cream card base. I'm scoring it at four and a quarter using that all to new scoreboard and my beloved Teflon bone folder. My number one most loved craft tool ever is the Teflon bone folder. So I did use some little uh, 3D foam squares to adhere that woven uh, panel onto the cream card base. And then right here, I'm zhuzhing my flowers. Some might say, why do that? And some might say, why not? But I love to zhuzh, and I know it might get flattened out in the in the envelope, but it's for me and it's great for photography. So I'm here, I'm just kind of getting the lay of the land, seeing how all these blooms fit together, feeling like a florist. Okay, for the sentiment, I'm pulling out the new Kathy Zilski Little Banners die set. And I love this die set. I'm gonna use cheers. I'm die cutting the cheers out of black and the plain banner out of white. And I'm gonna see how that looks. now. I do like it, but I felt like the black was a little too harsh. So I'm gonna try it again out of some matte gold cardstock, and that gave me just the right bada boom. Okay, so this uh, CZ Little Banners die set has cheers. You can also do salute, which I believe is cheers in French, and then to love. So it's really more of like a toasting sentiment or a celebration occasion. I hope she makes more of these banner sentiments with, uh, you know, just everyday phrases like hello and stuff like that. But for today, we're doing cheers. So I'm using some Barely Arts glue and I'm just gonna glue all these little blooms on, kind of tucking them in here and there, creating a little bit of a composition. Everything's framing that cheers banner. And I love how bringing in all these colors just bring in the happy. Now, if you wanna customize this for the season, you could definitely make this more um, festive if you stick to more reds and greens. You could make it a holiday floral arrangement. Uh, if you wanna make it autumnal, do some autumn tones. You could do it springy. You see where I'm going? So uh, here, I just ran the gamut with every color of the rainbow, except for I don't think, I don't think I did anything with purple. And that's a shame, but I will say I'm wearing a purple sweatshirt. So there's that. A uh, couple foam squares on the back of that banner, popped it up right in the middle and kind of judged those flowers. I didn't add any embellishments because I felt like there's enough going on. But this card is finished and it's making me happy. Uh, make sure and check out the rest of the December release blog hop with Simon's Stamp. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.